Ladies and gentlemen, gather round the campfire. I've spent my whole fucking life training to be a Call of Duty professional. Make it onto the scene. One day, my life goal is to join FaZe. I tell you now, I'll be FaZe has. I'll be at the top of the food chain, bro. And me and FaZe Banks are going to own that shit together. And then when I've had enough of FaZe, I'm going to join Optic. Just for the hells of it, mate. It's just because I'm so good with that AK-47 and them snipers, bro. I'll be honest, I've not played a Call of Duty since the new Modern Warfare. And um, I don't even know what guns are in anymore. As long as they still have an MP7, I'll be absolutely owning noobs. But but this goth lady gamer girl, or I think she's a gamer girl anyway, has been found cheating. Cheating like a little scumbag. She's got no skills to pay the bills, so she has to turn on all that shit online. But do you want to know the funniest thing is? Usually when people cheat, it's because they're good at the game but want to be even better. They want to improve and show all their audiences. This stupid whammon filmed it, put it online, forgot to turn it off or, uh, you know, block it so people can't see it, and then is still the shittest player since sliced bread, mate. If I gave my Nana controller, she'd have better chances of doing anything compared to this which if I gave it to my neighbour Steve who's got no arms but two feet I guarantee he'd be better than this bitch if I gave it to Spongebob Squarepants right underwater so the controller doesn't work I still guarantee he'd have a better chance of shooting and doing a better job than this absolute whammon let's play the clip and you can absolutely shoot yourself in the brain with me because this angers me it infuriates me that people waste their time watching and, and supporting people like this just get in the bin just get in the bin retire you deserve to work at Sainsbury's for the rest of your life and never see the sun again Firstly, camping. She's just sat there like an absolute squad of lemons, mate. She can't move. She's, you know, she's got a rainbow coloured thing just in case you couldn't work out what side of the fence she's on. Don't get me wrong, this is not a personal attack on her horrific eyebrows. Uh, well, that was. But this is an attack on her personality and her personality stinks because she's playing Call of Duty cheating and then still shite at the game. She's gone famous and it angers me that people are given opportunities like this. It's crazy. Oh, let me turn on my on my uh, cheats. Oh, people have appeared. What a what a surprise! How shocking is this? Oh, I better I better entertain my audience. <laughs> what in the shit gravy was that, bro? What in God's name was that? That was enough to make you want to chop off your own testicles and eat them. Raw, not even cut testicles. Liver King would not approve. Actually, he likes raw testicles, doesn't he? Irrelevant. So she licks her lips like she's about to absolutely attack. You know, she's licking her lips like a predator looks at little girls. She's ready. I found my victim. I found them. Cheats are on. Guns reloaded. I've got my three friends watching me, which, by the way, no, not hating on her. You know what I mean? We've all got to start. But she's a fucking shit idiot who can't play Call of Duty. If someone held a gun to her head and said, you need to kill this person or we're going to kill her, she might as well not attempt it because she is garbage. Fuck my arse cheeks and call me Jeff. Like the reflexes, the reaction time, the accuracy is just drastic. It's enough to make you want to kill yourself. And I've never met the woman. If she was on my team and I was against the fight, I'd just kick her. I'd just get her out of the lobby so she doesn't waste up time. I'd rather be on my own than have to deal with this. I mean, can we just appreciate her eyebrows though? I'm mean, look, I'm not the I'm I, you know, I look like a cat that's been through a washing machine and then shat on. I admit that. But at least I haven't done shit like that. I mean, you know, what the bloody hell's going on there? But back to the gameplay, let's not be rude about a personal appearance because that is rude and we are not rude we are just honest brutally honest and sometimes it gets us in trouble but most of the times we just laugh out loud she has cockroaches hanging from her ears but it's hey ho here you blow now you see her like a predator slowly evaluating the situation she sees one on her own she sneaks up her reactions are as you know it's like watching a bus go by from one stop to another you know it's not quick it's gone it's desperado mate she opens the chest and it's like oh yeah I'll, I'll pretend I know what I'm doing she sees this in she oh Mate, I'm getting wound up. I'm actually fucking wound up. Like, this is a joke, man. This is a bloody joke. A bloody joke. Anyway, look, we're, there's worse gamers than her, I'm sure, but I've yet to seen any. I mean, that is poor. Not only is that what you call um, rubbish at Call of Duty, but that's just poor everything. Your reflexes are as slow as tangerines. You know, you, you're cheating as well, which is just scumbag behaviour. Like, get in the bin. You're broadcasting it. Usually when people broadcast it, you've got to have two things. You've got to be entertaining or have a personality or something, or you've got to be good at a game. She's got neither. She's exciting 
nothing to look at as a fucking dry wall. I would literally rather watch my friends, my family get run over a bus. That would be more fucking interesting. That was horrible. But do you get what I mean? I would rather watch myself, watch my legs get repeatedly ran over by a bulldozer than watch this woman c try and play Call of Duty anymore. I'd rather stick forks in my eyes and have to walk around like that for the rest of my life than watch another 10 seconds of this silly woman pretending she knows what an, an Xbox is and, oh, I play Call of Duty. Yeah, bitch, sure you do. And I've got a seven inch penis. Nah, fuck that. I've got a three inch penis. <laughs> Oh dear. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine.